engineer Simi in the house. She's a smart home designer. She's a smart home consultant and a trainer. And she's here with me to discuss, you know, this topic. Work, work, um, welcome, welcome on Talking Tech Engineer Simi. Thank you very much. It's fine. It's, it's good to be here. All right. Oh, so um, let me ask you now. On uh, how did your exams? Because I think for we've been we've, we've, we've been trying to do this for the past two weeks, yeah, but your exams have been in the way. So how did the exams go? The exams went well. Oh. You, you have to keep moving. Of course, of course. And you're one person that keeps moving, and keeps <laughs> keeps chasing the certifications. So mm -hmm. tell us about tell us about this exam and what what it will mean for your you for your career. Uh, it's it's an advancement in automation. It's like getting a certification that uh, that confirms you that you are able to create uh, sophisticated automation systems, and uh, it's also a world standard, a global standard. So it's like getting certified at the global level and being relevant at the global level. Oh, congratulations to you. Congratulations. Thank you. That's one thing about the tech the tech industry is that it, it keeps um revolving and yeah. if you don't move with the trend then you become outdated. That's, and it's that's very true. That's it's very it's true. exciting to see um a tech is moving at <laughs> moving at the pace of the industry. Thank you very much. So um just can you can you tell us about what you do, you know? Uh, okay. Uh of, like uh, I basically work is like deploying uh, internet of things in the home yes because internet of things is a, a connection of devices that has the ability to communicate with one another and the communication is not just uh, uh, is is sending signals and also receiving signals okay. so the communication is not one way mm -hmm. the communication is two way and the result of the communication should always it should always result in an action being taken. Okay. Or otherwise. So uh, in the home scene, uh, now when I say home, I'm not just talking about residential, commercial. Or, um, so it could be commercial, it could be industrial. Industrial. <laughs> so in that scene, uh, home automation, as it's fondly called, is uh, a connection of smart things. Okay. Let's put it that way. Smart devices. They are able to talk. They are able to communicate. Okay. They are able to uh, take action based on input. Okay. And also give you feedback. Okay. Now, before now, our homes don't respond to us. Of they course. don't talk back. Mm -hmm. So you put on Dumb the light. Homes. The light stays on. It doesn't make any decision based on your environment. Okay. But now. If you put on your light, your light can come on at a level that is commensurate with the level of intensity that you already have in that place. Okay. So that means that you don't put on your light and it goes 100% every time. Mm -hmm. So your light can come on maybe at 30% intensity, 50% intensity, so depending, depending on, on how bright the room, room already, already was before, before it turned on the light. Turn, turn turn on on the light. light. Without internet of things that would not have been possible mm. and it's also possible for it to be dynamic that means that as maybe the sun goes down mm -hmm. the light intensity in the room reduces the brightness of the light in your room can also increase, increase yes so you don't have to take that decision now because uh smart devices take measurement take cognizance of all those changes of your life patterns basically yeah and then it makes decisions and adjusts things based on, on those parameters. Mm -hmm. That's that's one of the beauties of um, information or uh, internet of things yes. on the home front. And the applications are tremendous and they, they are, like I used to say, is as far as you can imagine. Yeah, true, true. You know, my, my, I first learned about the internet of the, you know, smart homes. There's, there's a book written by Bill Gates. I think I read that thing while I was still in the university, when I was on my IT. So in that book, he was talking about, the, the title of the book is The Road Ahead. Okay. So he was talking about a home that he was building at the time and how smart that home would okay. be. At, as at that time, it was it was like, to me, it was this this is impossible because when you look at some of the scenarios he was giving about that, that, that home, family home house he was building, he said, as an individual, when you walk into the home, the house should be able to detect who you are yeah. and while you're walking on the walkway it should play your favorite kind of music yeah. 
the house should be able to know that this person likes the you know his room illuminated in a certain kind of intensity yeah. and whatever room you enter plays your kind of music lights the room the room lights mm -hmm. itself the way you want it and whenever you're about to go to bed if you usually go to bed at about 11 p.m the room is smart enough to know that this person needs the light turned off at 11 p.m yeah. and all that it was amazing but i didn't understand how you know how it was but then it was perfect but now, now it's, it's a reality it's a reality yeah. and we're seeing it yes, and i think that was probably be one of his first smart homes across the world yeah definitely. at the time yeah, because yeah, of course yeah, yeah. Been <laughs> let's let's so let, let's go straight into it um so your your explanation about the smart home uh, you, you talk more about the smart homes you know while you were introducing uh, what you do but I want us to make it a bit broad. Yeah. Let's let's talk about Internet of Things Internet, as, yeah. as a whole. Yeah. A lot of people would have been hearing about Internet of Things, but um, they don't really understand how it is yeah. because a lot of people were here. Internet of Things will revolutionize our lives. You know, to revolutionize the homes that we live in, which is what you do. It will revolu revolutionize how we drive our cars and yeah. even up to our work lives. Definitely. So I want you in simple terms, because a lot of our <laughs> listeners are not yeah. techies. Uh, I know it will be difficult to break down these technical terms, but can you really, you know, tell us what the Internet of Things is yeah. and how it will revolutionize our current life patterns? Yeah. All right. Basically, in the simplest form, mm -hmm. Internet of Things is just an internet network of things objects okay now the objects vary okay let's take for example our smartphones and that every almost everybody on the planet has a smartphone of now. course our smartphones are connected one way or the other mm -hmm. now that connection that we have between our smartphone forms a network okay and that is what we call an inter network mm -hmm. or a network of smartphones of smartphones, smartphones. So you could say that is a form of what internet, internet of, of things because your phone is a thing. Because your phone is a thing, then when it's able to connect with other phones, it forms what a network. Mm -hmm. So we have internet of things. Now we now have so many other objects that has the ability to connect with each other or with one another. We could have sensors. We could have your, uh, your car. You could have your door lock. Your, your air you conditioner. could have your AC, you could have your light, you could have your kitchen appliances, your fridge, your microwave, your cooking unit. Everything so, on the internet. You could have your, your car, your... Even it's... it's yeah, the I usually say that, that even a dumb thing that you could say, maybe a fan, can also become smart. Everything can be smart. Everything can be smart. So when you are not able to connect all those things together, it becomes an internet of things so uh internet of things and internet they are two different things mm -hmm. because when you say internet of things and you say internet okay internet is is just like okay the world wide web you're able to connect internet, it, of you know, internet of data and like that but internet of things you could say that it's like maybe a subgroup in a way it of is. of internet because we are connecting objects and another thing that i know there's usually a question that comes up when when, when i when i talk to people like okay hey, do we need internet for internet of things and being like you necessarily don't need it mm -hmm. so that means that an internet network of things can work even, without, even the internet. without the internet so it depends that was now boils down to all the technicalities mm -hmm. but basically internet of things just connection between a device or an object A and B, and they're able to talk to it. Okay, thank you very much for that. Was that was simple? <laughs> <laughs> thank you.